guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be lockdown vlog number three. So if you have watched my other vlogs then this probably isn't going to be much different to what we've done in the other vlogs but please do stick around and watch these. So I've just got myself up ready. I mean it's like <laughs> 10 to 1 but we won't worry about that. Had a nice lazy morning, as you can see. I've got, I'll show you my outfit in a second. I'm stood right by the window, so it's probably a bit bright. Oh, this is nice lighting. I'm gonna take a picture in here in a sec. But I've curled my hair for the first time in what feels like ages. I think the last time I curled my hair was when we did a Zoom quiz for Georgie's birthday back in January. So I'm enjoying having my hair curled. I've still got like not many lashes. <laughs> But it's been seven weeks now since I had my eyelashes done, so I'm impressed that I forgot any at all, but I'm not ready to let go of them yet. <laughs> so I think we're going to go for a walk. It's quite, well, it's got, I'm not going to show you out the window because you'll see, like, our road. But it's blue skies, but it's got a bit of cloud, so I think we're going to go for a walk. I have got on this top, which is literally so old. I've had it for so many years, but I love it. It's kind of like knitted i'm sure georgie had this in yellow actually it's kind of like knitted but it's short sleeved so i've got a little cami top underneath and i just got my high-waisted jeans on but i quite like the purpley lilac -y color on me i don't wear it that often i keep moving my arm apologies i don't wear it that often i have got another jumper that's kind of like it's more mauvey than this this is obviously quite lilac -y. and then yeah sorry i'm just looking at my teeth in the camera again but I think we're going to go for a, vlo a, a vlog, a walk, but I'm not 100% sure, so stay tuned and I will show you. Okay, thanks Haz. Just putting our hand sani on, let me move you across so you can see Jason as well. Um, we have just popped to Sainsbury's, oh my god my hands are so dry. Um, we've just popped to Sainsbury's to get a little sat, sat in for lunch. did try to go to Tesco's but um... The queue was like a mile long, and that's not exaggerating, is it? Might be slightly exaggerating, but it was very long, so we came to Sainsbury's. So we'll show you what we got. I got a cheddar and red Leicester with red onion sandwich. I love these. I used to get these quite a lot when I was at work, because we can walk here from work. I then got paprika crisps, and to switch up a little something, a Pepsi Max cherry. Exciting times. Jason, what did you get, please? A sandwich. No, you need crisps. to show it. You need to show a sandwich. the... sandwich. He's being annoying. Crisps. Show what you got. Why? They don't care about a sandwich. It's got bacon and egg in it. Well, show them. They might want to see it. And this is grill, flame grilled steak McCoy's crisps. And I got the same thing as you because you copied me. No, you got raspberry. No, I didn't. I got cherry. Oh, I thought you got ra... I picked it up first. No, you copied me. You don't ever drink food. Um, I'm going to take my jacket off actually. We're not quite sure what we're going to do. Georgie did say about meeting up at some point in a bit. So I don't want to go too far. Obviously, safely outside. La di la di la. Um, so I don't want to go too far for her then to be like, okay, ready to meet up now. My hair looks really, really curly. I did brush it out, but I'm quite liking it if I'm honest. If I'm honest with you. What is that? It's an absolute car. idiot trying to get into next to me like... Oh, that was close. Yeah, it? he was extremely close. Anyway, we will update you when we have further plans. We've just eaten our lunch in the, in the car park and I'm just gonna... I don't really know why I'm showing you this, but you know, exciting, know thrilling lockdown things. I'm just changing my air freshener. Now my friend Lucy got me this in a box i can't think of what the box was called i'll ask her and i'll link it down there, down below because it was nice she got it last year but it was like a box with a little hand sanitizer air freshener a few little bits and bobs in there so i'm just going to change it over to this one which says you got this it's apple flavor it smells nice mm. okay just gonna i had another one which said the same thing but it's disintegrated because it's been in there for so long. So I'm just going to change that now. Then we're going to go in meet Georgie. The sun's starting to go in a little smidge but there's still blue sky so it'll come through that cloud in a sec. I'm just going to do that. 
Exciting times, exciting times indeed. We don't really have any plans, do we, Has? No. Oh, that smells real nice. Can you smell that? That's quite strong. <clears throat> I can't smell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll update you when we see Georgie. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> Our little walk now, it's absolutely freezing now. It's kind of still blue skies, you can see. It looks really blue on the camera, I'm sure it's not that blue in, life, in real life. I'm just going for a little walk, a bit windy. But yeah. Okay, so we are now home. My hair, it's like really dropped out, it always drops out in the cold. We're home now. I'm not really sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day. This is the problem. Please let me know what you're doing in your whilst in lockdown. Yes? Up there. Um, we're struggling with what things to do because obviously you can't really go out or anything. Um, so yeah, not really sure what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to have a tea. We had a Wagamama takeaway last night. Jason did say about getting a Chinese, but two takeaways in a row, is that acceptable? So it's much later. We haven't done a thing since I last vlogged. Uh, we've literally just sat um, in the lounge on our phones, not even talking to each other, just on TikTok. That's kind of how it goes. The lighting in here, the lighting in here is a bit funny because of the nano lights that we have over there. Say hi. I hope people appreciate that when I vlog with Jason, I have to literally be like this because stand next to me. This is the height difference between the two of us. Oh. Hello. Hi. Anyway, we're going to cook dinner. I'm... We? I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to cook I'm dinner. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to stay. Why? So, you've just ruined. I haven't even said what we're having. So, we're having steak for tea. Very nice. I did mention earlier that we were going to get a Chinese, but... <gasps> we, we have... We've and now we're not. Yeah. We've we done... We've decided that we should be good and save our pennies and not get one since we had a takeaway last night. We can get one next weekend, house. A takeaway, I mean. Oh. Um, so we're going to have steak instead. So, let me show you. We have got the, you would have seen it in my Asda food shop bit. Oh yeah. I picked up the beef medallion steaks because when we um last had steak it was new year's eve yeah new year's eve i think it was that we had steak and we had the medallion ones from aldi and we really liked them because they're quite thick so and they don't have much fat on either do they no. um so we're gonna have them and i've got some peppercorn sauce as well to have of it and i'm gonna make some um working Dish. I'm gonna make some chips slash slash wedges as well. My hair is kind of like all over the all over the shop. You can see my little cute little top now. When we saw Georgie earlier, she was like, "That's a throwback," because like I said, she had the yellow one. Mm. Can't really see me, but yeah, I just really don't know what to be doing in lockdown. <laughs> We're bored. We are so. Bored. Like I need to do some studying at some point today. Um, I also need to edit a video, but as I've mentioned before, I always edit my videos at like 11 o'clock at night because normally Jason will go and play games or something. So I will edit. Yeah, but I don't know what. We're just bored. Like what? You can go for a walk. Yay! So we went for a walk. Yay! But what else can, what else is there to do? Can't go into shops. I need to go to B&M actually. I need to go to B&M is still open. So I need to go to B&M. B and M. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I'll take you along. See what's in B&M. Show you a little wrap. Show you a little around. Show you around a little. Um, yeah. Apart from that. We don't really have any like ball games or anything either that we could play, do we? I just want to play Payday. We have Payday. Love Payday. It's a great game. Holly actually bought it. Did I tell you? She 
she bought a painting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. Right. Either that or she said she was going to buy them. I'm pretty or sure what? she bought it. To play. With whom? I don't know. Oh. She bought it a while ago. But yeah. And Jason always doesn't like the idea of playing board games. Hey, we could do Monopoly. Can you, you can download it, can't you? On your phone. We could yeah. do Monopoly like that. I'm going to put it on the PlayStation. Anyway. We're not really sure. Might watch a film. Yeah, I, watch films. No. This is what I mean, like... What is there to do? Not a lot. Don't know what I mean. Do you have anything to say, Jason? No, not really. Not really. Are you going to be nicer to me in this vlog? Are <laughs> you always grumpy? Yes, I am being very lovely. Thank you to uh, Jason's mum for pointing that out because I always tell him he's grumpy in the vlogs she told him the other day that he was he's very grumpy in vlogs I, I do just want to say this that he isn't actually this grumpy in real life normally sometimes he is but he just likes to put on his persona apparently for the vlogs so that he's a grumpy person he's not I wish I say to him all the time I wish people could see what he's actually like on the vlogs because He's a little weirdo, really. Well, he's not that little, he's tall. Anyway, I'm gonna cook steak now. Okay, I'm in my, on my phone because I didn't bring my camera, but I've just popped to Morrison's because I need some potatoes. Well, I think I'm just gonna get some chips. I'm gonna see if they've got any of the fresh ones because I don't know if we've actually got enough room in our freezer. But I need some chips or I'm thinking maybe like dough from more potatoes. I don't know what they're gonna have because our Morrison's is pretty rubbish, it's pretty small. But we shall see. Okay, so I'm now back from Morrison's. This is a horrendous angle, but I don't know where else to put you. So, I thought I'd just show you what I got. Some steak cut chips. These were a bargain. They were like 85p. I thought that was quite good. Um, so I got some steak cut chips, despite me saying I wasn't sure if I was going to get any frozen there. And I got some breaded onion rings to go with it, because I thought we needed some onion rings also picked up these which i was talking to my mum about the other day and i was trying to explain them to jason so these are like finger donut things but it's got raspberry um jam and cream inside of it so i was buzzing when i saw these they were reduced although they weren't reduced by very much but i picked up those to enjoy afterwards as well so i'm now going to get on and cook So we've had our nice dinner now. It was good, wasn't it? Did you enjoy your steak? Oh yeah, it was so good. Come here. You enjoyed your steak? Yes. Uh, the chips were nice as well, weren't they? They were lovely. So, recommend them from Morrison's. We've now, I've just made us both a cup of tea. Jason's got some biscuits. What have you got? Digestives. Yes. To Duncan his tea. That's the only time he drinks tea. It looks very nice, I mean... This side of the room looks nice in here. I've got the washing up, so I won't show you that side. I just love it in here at night with the lights on. So we've got the lights on, obviously, here. And our little wax melter thing. But yeah, I love it in here. It feels cosy, doesn't it? Yeah. Georgie was saying um, earlier that sh I have a mum style. I don't think I do, but thanks anyway. Decor. But she did go on to say it's like a cosy kind of style, so. Glad about that, but yeah, we're just gonna have what you're trying not to laugh. <laughs> um, we're just gonna have our tea now, put the candle on, getting all nice and relaxed up in here. I don't know if we'll put we finished Big Bang last night, just we're very fun. sad, but we finished it yeah. when it finished. I was like, I need to know more. Mm. Uh, so I don't know whether we might start a new series, or we might put a film on, or we might just sit here and do nothing. I don't that know. <clears throat> Probably. I don't know, but yeah. That, that is that is the update of the evening. I forgot to say that I'm going to have these, which are my chocolate coins from Christmas that Jason got me. Yum, yum, yum. I've had a change of outfit. I've got my Mickey pyjamas on, which Jason got me for Christmas. Where do you say you get them from? Tesco's was it? Yeah. Yeah. They're really, really comfy. I mentioned them in my what I got for Christmas, but 
I love them. They're not too thick, but they're not too thin either. So I've put those on, got myself all comfy, and we're now going to watch the Night Stalker, The Hunt for a Serial Killer. If you don't know us, we love, like, crime documentaries, don't we? Oh, yeah. So we're going to give that a go now with our cups of tea in hand. Do we add your bickies? Yep. So we're going to do that now. And I'm going to upload an Instagram photo, just got Jason to take some photos of me as well. So yeah. I am now just doing some editing. Jason has just gone off and had a bath. Or shall I say shower? Because I'm not sure how he feels about me telling you it's a bath. But anyway, he has gone off and had a bath, so I'm just going to edit. And I think we might watch another episode. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this is my current setup. Sat here. I always edit now with headphones. I find it really much so much easier to edit with headphones rather than before I didn't used to so this is my little cozy little setup okay so I have edited my video I've created the thumbnail I've put it up ready for tomorrow and I am now gonna go to bed it's actually quite early <sighs> I say it's early not that early it's time is it 20 to 12. Can you see that? 20 to 12. But, like I mentioned before, normally on a Saturday I don't go to sleep until like 1, 2. So it's quite early for me on a Saturday. But I'm gonna go to bed. I think I need to go to bed to keep you on and look at my eyes. I like this. Um, I'm gonna go to bed, take the makeup off obviously before I go. Bed, wash my face, la di la di la di la. Go to bed. I want to kind of get up like at like nine tomorrow. This is the problem because where I'm working from home, I get up obviously in time for work and everything. So when it comes to the weekend, I'm like, no. I don't want to get up. And plus, there's nothing to do. However, I think I am meeting my friend Megan tomorrow for a walk. Obviously, again, socially distanced. Outside she's got a little pup so I will vlog when I do that obviously. I'll show you what else we do tomorrow. Probably not a lot. But I did want I did say to Jason earlier I fancy doing some baking, but I don't know if I actually will. If I do, I will show you. But we shall see. I forgot to end that clip. What I was gonna say was, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning everybody. So it is now Sunday. I am up. I don't know why this looks so creased. I am up and dressed and I am just sat in the lounge. I think I'm going to do a bit of studying but I will probably have some YouTube or something on in the background because I also want to watch that. My video is just about to go live so I will post that on my socials. I look really washed out. I think it's because I've obviously got no makeup on. It's going to be a no makeup day today. Normally do makeup on a Saturday and no makeup on a Sunday so that's what we're going with today. It's not, it's very cloudy out there today, quite gloomy, so I'm not sure what other plans I've got. Like I said, I'm going to meet my friend later and we're going to go for a dog walk. But apart from that, I don't know what me and Jason are going to do. Jason are going to do because yesterday, we, like I said, we were, going, we were so bored, we were going out of our minds, so not quite sure. Got my faves on the t TV sitting now here and then I've got my study books here. Lovely chubbly and I'm nice and cosy under the blanket. We are off to B&M and potentially Tesco's now. I've got some sunglasses on my head because it's a bit sunny. Here is Jason. He's decided to brace us with his presence. Brace? Yeah. Mm. Embrace? I'm not sure that's the word. I'm pretty sure um, it's brace. Bless? Grace. Grace. That's without his presence. Brace. Yeah, well, I'll be lucky. You He's in one. Brace, so. He's in one of his very annoying moods, so I can't wait. So on to B&M it is. Okay, so we're now back from B&M. We also went to Home Bargains and Tesco, but I didn't vlog anything in there because it was absolutely heaving. There was people everywhere. It's like the world's gone mad today. So it was so busy, I literally rushed around to get out of there. But I thought I wasn't gonna be able to show you what I picked up because it's part of a present, but I realized that this video will be going up after she's received it. So I'll show you. Let me just 
decanter. I'll show you the things that I got for me which weren't interesting. In the slightest, I picked up some new face masks. So I just got a plain black one. These ones come with the pouch as well. You get like a little pouch for them. So I picked up a plain black one, a pink spotty one, and just a black spotty one. These were in Home Bargains. I thought they were on three for two pound, but then I realised I picked up the wrong ones. The cheaper ones were on three for two pound, but it doesn't matter. Quite, I've never had one with a pouch before, so that will be, um, that will be good. So I've got those. Then it is one of, you've heard me mention her so many times, but it is Lucy's birthday, one of my friends who I work with. It is her birthday, well to be fair, when you see this, it would have been her birthday like a week ago, I think. I think you, if I put this up when I think I'm putting it up. But I'll show you what I picked up for her. So I got her. This is, so we're creating a hamper for her, me and my friend Holly are creating a little hamper for her. So I picked up, this is from Tesco's, this gift hamper. I then got her this mug, which has got cats on, because she likes cats. I wanted to get her a different mug, but they didn't have the one I wanted, so I went for this because I know she likes cats. And then in Home Bargains, I picked her up this candle, which is Hot Cross Buns. Thought she'd enjoy that. She's got quite similar taste to me. And then picked up this, which is Nesquik Hot Chocolate. I've never tried this before, but it looked cool and I thought it would go with her mug so I picked her up that that was Tesco and then also in home bargains I didn't actually buy anything in B&M because it was so busy I just wanted to get out there and you couldn't really properly look around so I got her these which are the foot packs she likes like this kind of stuff being a mum of two so I picked up um, two different types I got the coconut water ones and then these ones which are honey and almond so I thought she could try both of those and also got her some face masks. I got this one purely because it looks cool, the disco face. So I thought she could try that. And also picked up a de-stress sheet mask because one, I know she's stressed normally anyway <laughs> with just day-to-day -day life sometimes with boys. But I thought it'd be good since we've just come out a month end. I'll also show you, we got this stuff for her. So Holly, oh hold on okay so holly who i just mentioned but this is from the both of us so i got those little bits and bobs holly got the bulk so it's all going to go in the hamper which i'm going to put together in a minute which i'll show you so she got a uh, this chocolate brownie cube mix what else have we got in here these cheese twists um, so basically loads of snacks pretzel thins i'm sure lucy won't mind me showing you all of this jalapeno nacho crisps if you didn't know she loves this snack <laughs> some percy pigs these are the party time ones some shortbread fingers that'll go nice for hot chocolate some mixed up meerkats i've never seen these before until um holly bought so holly dropped this off on my doorstep because if you didn't know i am like the queen of hampers so that's what that's all about there you go. Um, she got her some fizzy piggy tails. Um, some dark chocolate Jaffa cakes. What else have we got in here? Some millionaires mini bites. I'm hoping this is all going to fit in that hamper actually. Some chocolate and orange tea cakes. And also some wobbly worms. So I'm going to put all of this in here now hopefully and I will show you the result afterwards you can't really see me but that's fine um so I realized that I didn't show you what came in this hamper bit so let me just open it like I said this was in Tesco so it's your create your own gift hamper little set thing so you obviously can take this off so you, get this. you get the wrap the cellophane wrap that goes round it large you also get the ribbon that goes around the top oh, and it also comes with a little gift tag oh that's cute a little gift tag and then you've got the filling as well in there so i'm just gonna fill it unsure how i'm gonna take anything off food wise that has a price on okay. I'm not 
hopeful that this is all going to fit, if I'm honest with you. Anything else for the bag, sir? No. Right. I say I'm the queen of hampers, but I'm really not sure I'm going to fit all this in. I think that's everything apart from the extra box of cheese twists i'll show you it it's not the best <laughs> but it's the best i can do i think i'm gonna have to give her these separately but yeah this is the hamper it's very full it's gonna be quite heavy um it's obviously got the dark chocolate jaff cake things at the back i try and do it so you can see what everything is but it's quite difficult and you've got candle, the face mask here, the foot part, foot mask there. I've put the mug down here with the shortbread fingers inside of it, so that's good. And yeah, hopefully I'll send a pic to Holly and see what she thinks. I showed these yesterday, but I'm just gonna have this little cake before I go out to meet Megan, and then I will wrap this up with this later when I get back. Now back from the dog walk, I'm talking quietly because Hello. Um, now back from the dog walk, I'm absolutely freezing, my camera is freezing where it was in my pocket. Um, it was so cold and windy, I obviously didn't really vlog anything, I've vlogged a little bit of Otto running back towards us, bless him. But yeah, it's absolutely freezing so I am wrapped up with a blanket. I've made myself a cup of tea, which is there, and I've got some rich tea biscuits to go with it, because I'm going to do dinner, but I'm going to do tea, oh, it's only 20 to 4 now, so I'm going to do tea a bit later, once the football's finished, is it half 4 darling for the football? Yeah, Liverpool playing at half 4, so I will do my usual where I study whilst the football's on, and then I'll do tea probably about 6ish. I think I've cut my lip. No, it's alright. I was going to say as well, I've got a little blood spot here from plucked my eyebrows yesterday and caught my skin. Ouch. Anyone else do that? Absolutely killed. But yeah, so I've got a little cosy little setup. I'm sat over here. I normally sit where Jason's sat, but he was already sat there, so I'll allow it. But wait, we might watch one of those episodes, might we, of the serial killer thing we watched yesterday? Mm. And before the football. So I think that's what we're going to do now. I need to take the washing down in a bit as well. But a nice, cosy, kind of lazy Sunday. Best kind of days. Okay, so many hours have passed. Liverpool lost. Oops. Um, I'm now going to do our roast dinner. I'm really excited. I haven't really eaten much today, as you would have seen. So we are having roast beef this evening. This is just a small little roasting joint from Asda, you would have seen this in my Asda haul, Asda haul, is that the right word? Oh, for best results removed from refrigerator for up to 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes, I didn't do that, oops a daisy, right, how long, how big is this? Cook time 44 minutes. So it says rare 20 minutes per 500 grams plus 20 minutes medium 22 minutes per 500 grams I don't know how big this is oh 0.472 so pretty much 500 grams um, Jason likes his a bit more well done okay so we will do an hour Twenty to eight already? No, twenty to seven. It's not twenty to eight. Right, let's get this. Let's get this quicker looking then. Um, how do we do this? Remove all packaging. Preheat the oven. Blah 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 blah. Brush with oil and season with. Right, so need a little tin. Right, I've put some foil down. 
just so it doesn't stick. And then going to get out the beef and the cloth. I need to cut off the what's it called? The like the whatever this is called. I want to say wire, it's not wire. Wire that you can't see what I'm talking about. So you, this, whatever that is. Can't think what it's called. Right, so it wants me to spread brush it with oil and then season it with salt and pepper. I've got salt and pepper. Oil. Have I got a brush? Oh, that was a bit aggressive. I'm just gonna spray it with some light. So you're meant to brush it with oil, but I'm just going to spray it with a bit of fry light. Be alright. Um, this is really cold. Alright, I've sprayed it with a bit of fry light. I don't know why I'm telling you how to do this, because I don't know myself. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a bit of salt and pepper over it. And then I'm going to put that in the oven for one hour which is probably just under an hour on the middle shelf right so that's now cooker looking good looking <laughs> i don't know where this energy has come from i'm gonna do my potatoes now so i'm just gonna this isn't a very good angle because you can't really see what i'm doing but i'm just gonna do my potatoes and i'll be right back with you Okay, so my potatoes are now boiling. Please excuse the stick me. Um, my potatoes are now boiling. Whilst that is happening, I am going to do my stuffing and my Yorkshire puddings. If you haven't watched me... Oh, hello. There we go. Right. If you haven't seen me do, like, make a roast before, make my own Yorkshire puddings. Just for, like they're better if i do say so myself but anyway the stuffing that i use is just i just normally buy like a bog standard sage and onion stuff and mix this one's from aldi they're normally like 50p maybe but i only use half of this or yeah so this makes 12 makes 12 stuffing balls so i'll probably won't even use half to be fair because it's only the two of us, we don't need, we don't need that much. So I will use, yeah, I will do half again. So I'm just going to boil some water to get that going. And then I will be making my Yorkshire puddings as well. So I'll show you that when I do that. I don't know if this is a better angle, but I've put you up a bit higher. So I have just put in the water and poured in a quarter of the bag so it just comes like this so I've just poured a quarter of the bag in here and I'm just going to mix that and then you leave it to stand for like five minutes so I normally make this up just mix it all together make this up wait leave it for five minutes and then make my Yorkshire pudding mix whilst that does its magic so I'm going to leave that now I'm going to do the Yorkshire puddings. Anyone else just go in the cupboard and then completely forget what you're going in there for? That is me. So I'm going to make Yorkshire puddings now. Now I just use a BBC recipe, um, but I obviously don't make as many. So I think it says on there it makes 8 big or 24 small. And for that recipe you use 4 eggs, 200ml of milk and 200ml of flour like about 200 ml i always just I, can't, I can never bother to get my scales out so i just use a jug and measure it out that way but i am going to be using 50 so i'm going to do just one egg so i do one egg 50 ml of milk 50 ml of flour plain flour i use as well so i'm just trying to work out what i'm doing there. so i'm going to measure out my flour this is probably like the most not right way to do it but this is how I do it. I'm just going to measure out 50 mil. Oh, that is definitely a lot more than 50 mil of flour. I've done about 500 mil there. Oh, just put it all over the side. Right, 
that's about 50 ml and then i put the milk over the top to bring it up to 100 ml and then crack my egg in okay sorry i got out of focus because why i'm not in the shop um i use it easy i find it easier to use a fork um, to get out the uh, lumps. Obviously you could use a whisk, but I don't think we actually have a whisk. So I'm just using a fork. Make sure there's no lumps. I think this normally makes like four Yorkshire puddings. We tend to have two each. I don't know why I'm doing this as like a cook with me. I was just, it's just part of my weekend vlog. Oh look at that cow. It's just part of a weekend vlog, but I just thought it'd be a I can't really vlog that much today, so I thought you could cook along with me whilst I make a roast dinner. One of my favourite meals, although I always do too much, so I'm going to make sure I don't... I've tried not to do too many potatoes. I'll make sure I don't do too much veg, because that's where I always do too much. Veg-wise, I have got this, which is the vegetable medley from Lidl. So it's got carrots, broccoli and cauliflower in it. And then I've just got some sweet corn to go with it as well. Probably a bit random. I'm aware that people normally wouldn't have sweet corn for the roast, but we love sweet corn. So I'm just going to do that and try not to do too much, like I said. And then I will make the cheese sauce to go over the veg because we like our cheese sauce as well. So I make that as well. I just Google everything basically. Anything I don't know how to make, I just Google. Google is my best friend just going to take my potatoes off the hop. I'm going to drain my potatoes and then I'm going to leave them to sit for five, maybe ten minutes. I'm just going to ruffle them up. Oh, where you can't see me do this. I'm just ruffling them up and then I'm going to, like I said, leave them for about five to ten minutes just to sit for a minute whilst that is going on. It's all go, go, go. I've got myself a baking tray. I'm going to spray some fry light all over it. I tend to use fry light because it makes me um, feel a bit better about us being like drained and stuff and um, drowned and stuff rather than oil. I'm going to put this in the oven for while those potatoes are sitting there. I'm going to find the um, Yorkshire pudding tin. The problem with living in a house with tall people is I can never find anything. I found it, it would fallen down the back of the other pans. So this is my Yorkshire pudding tin and I'm just going to spray it with some fry light. So I'm just going to spray four pod things and then that will go in five minutes before I put the mixture in. So I don't know if you can see, you can't see that. Don't know why I'm trying to show you like that. So it's lump free. So that's good, that's what we want to hear. And then also got my stuffing. What I do with my stuffing, this, I'm sorry, there's not very good angles in here for me to balance you on things. Um, what I do with my stuffing is I then make balls out of them. I don't know why I said like that. So I'm just going to, this is another good reason why you let it cool because otherwise where you mix it with, right, you cannot see anything. Let's put you down here. There we go. Where you um, mix it with hot water, it can burn your hands sometimes. And before anyone asks, my hands are clean. There's one. Oh, helpful. This looks like it's only going to make two, maybe three. I've done them quite big though, to be fair. And it's not Jason's favourite thing, so he doesn't mind. So yeah, I just get it in my hands and then roll it into a ball. Like so. Yeah, we've got three. Which is fine. Like I said, it's not Jason's. He's not that fussed, I don't think, about stuffing. Whereas I like a good bit of stuffing. It's also probably 
do you have you gonna have stuffing with beef i don't know i don't know what like the traditional things are to have with what like i know some people don't have yorkshire puddings with every meat whereas we do we love yorkshire puddings now just waiting for the um potato tin which i'm gonna get out in a second and i'm gonna spray the potatoes with fry light put you on top of my gravy pot so i've got my potatoes in here i'm just gonna coat them in fry light i find this makes them nice and crispy as you can see i'm not i don't go i don't go light on the uh on the old fryer light yeah this just makes them go nice and crispy hopefully um anyone that's wondering i use the butter fry light mainly because i love the smell of it i have i don't know why but i have always um i just gonna have to bend down there you go i have always um just used the butter fry light i am knelt down yeah, I've just always used the butterfly light. Never used any of the other ones. And I just really like the smell of it. So we use that. That's about it. Just waiting for my potato tin to come out. Pop my potatoes in. For about 40 minutes I'll do them for. So that'd be perfect time with the beef coming out to rest as well. And then, oh, I've just put my arm in that. And then um, the stuffing balls go in for about 25 minutes. And the Yorkshire's go in for 20 minutes just sitting down a minute but i realized i didn't say i i'm sure you probably don't even care about how i cook a roast dinner but i know that some people enjoy like when i do cooking segments so for those people here you are um but i put my stuffing balls on the same tray as the potatoes the ones already greased because then i find that it's good that it doesn't stick so i'll do that i've just popped my potatoes in so they'll be on for 40 minutes which takes me to 10 to um so i will put everything else in when it needs to okay i've just taken the beef out of the oven this is what we're looking like looking nice gonna leave that to rest this is not good lighting um i'm gonna leave that to rest for 10 minutes i have got a veg on the go i've just put it all on one sauce but it's much easier and then this is going to be the cheese sauce so again this is another bbc good food recipe it's just 100 ml of milk um one Tea, uh, one tablespoon sorry of plain flour 10 grams of butter and then cheese it says to use like i guess you wouldn't use that much cheese but i well we love a cheesy cheese sauce if that makes sense so i would i just put loads of cheese in so i've got some grated cheese here already so that's good to go i'll do that just before i'm about to dish up because it cooks quite quickly um what else do i want to tell you that was it so i've got my potatoes and stuffing in there and my yorkshires are going okay at the moment not the best but i'm going to turn this up slightly because they tend to cook better on a higher heat so we're going good we've got 10 minutes to go i just want to show you my yorkshires i've squashed these by accident um before i get them <clears throat> before i get them out because they've not they've kind of stuck in the pans but here are my roasties as well it's all looking good okay so excuse the failed <laughs> yorkshire puddings that have crumbled everywhere which you can see but this is our dinner before i add on our cheese sauce and our gravy so we're going to enjoy this now okay oh i'm not quite sure what's going on with my hair there so dinner was delish if i do say myself do say so myself what do you think is it nice yeah <laughs> 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 Jason has, I will show you his handiwork, he has cleaned the bathroom, so it's looking all sparkly sparkly, he's changed these over to these which is good because the other ones were annoying, they were glass and it didn't work, so he's cleaned all the bathroom, he's just run a bath, so I'm going to jump in the bath now. So that brings me to the end of this weekend vlog, so this was obviously, oh there's our washing, weekend vlog number three, so as I said I'll be doing these Every weekend ow. ow so i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram my handle is in the description and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye